Fatin? No, you are now watching Science at Home with me, Fatin, your resident social distancing scientist from Tekdong, Penang. Do you know that when eggs added with some other things, it can become mayonnaise? Let's learn the science behind mayonnaise. What we need are two eggs, 250 milliliter of cooking oil, some salt and vinegar, a spatula and spoon, and also a bowl to keep the mayonnaise, and also a blender. First of all, add two spoon of vinegar into the egg. Then add a pinch of salt. You can also use black pepper or white pepper to enhance the taste. After that, pour all of them into the blender. Close the lid. Start blending the mixture and slowly add the oil into the blender. Finish the oil and blend for another few seconds. After that, open the lid and take a spatula to mix them well. Then, pour them into the bowl. Your mayonnaise is done. The percentage of water in an egg is more than 70%, which means egg is mostly water. But water and oil don't normally combine. They are separated because oil is hydrophobic, which means it hates water. However, in this case, the egg yolk allow them to combine. Egg yolk is an emulsifier or a surfactant. An emulsifier has both hydrophobic, the water hating, and hydrophilic side, the water loving side. So it attracts and stabilizes both water and oil together and becomes the mayonnaise. Now I will share with you some tips to make mayonnaise. First of all, slowly add the oil into the blender. Adding too much oil at a time will cause the mayonnaise to become watery. This is because the amount of emulsifier inside the egg yolks is not sufficient to bind to all of the water and oil molecules. And secondly, use eggs from room temperature. And last but not least, keep the homemade mayonnaise inside the refrigerator. It can last for 3 to 4 days. So that's the sign behind mayonnaise. I hope you enjoy watching this episode. Like and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon. See you next time. Bye-bye.